Hi everyone, um, we'll be learning today about how to manage notifications on iPhones. Um, we'll be going over the slides together and we would keep the videos for our breakout rooms because we have two videos to go over for these slides. How to turn on your notifications. So this is an example of an iPhone. Basically, this is an iPhone um, user interface. And first thing we do is open the settings app, which this is what it looks like. Um, second, you tap on the notifications, this one. And number three, you tap the app that you haven't received notifications from. So depending on what apps you have um, downloaded on your phone, once you click on notifications, you will see a list of applications on your phone that you have downloaded. Number four, turn on allow notifications, then choose how and where you want to receive those. Um, usually that's like a slide, it looks something like this. You just have to slide it to the right and then you turn on your notifications for that application. Um, Steps to manage notifications for an app on an iPhone. So to turn on notifications on or off for a specific app, like I said, it's like a slide. Once you click on the application, you would see a interface like this, where you have to, once it shows green, that's um, your notifications are turned on. But if you slide it over to the back, it's blank. That's turned off. So for this one, it looks like the notifications for the messages app is turned on. So again, open the settings app, tap the application, select the application you want to change, tap notifications, turn allow notifications on or off, which is right here, allow notifications. How to customize how notifications appear. So again, we're doing the, we're going through the same um, steps. Open the settings app, tap notifications, choose how you want notifications to appear on the lock screen. Um, select count to see the number of notifications. Select stack to group notifications by app select list to see notifications in a list. We'll see all that in the video. Because I know it's a little bit confusing right now. So customize the alert style for an app. Same steps. The first two, open the settings app, tap notifications, select an app under notification style. Choose the alert style you want under alerts. How to turn on announce notifications to have Siri read notifications aloud. So you open the settings app again, tap notifications, click announce notifications, and this is what it looks like and make sure that the announce notifications is turned on, meaning it shows the green, which means it's turned on, and make sure that your iPhone or iPad is locked and, this, and its screen is that. Siri doesn't announce messages if you're using your device. So basically, if a notification or a message comes into your phone while you're using your um, phone for anything, Siri doesn't announce that. However, when your phone is um not being used, oh my Siri is going off right now. Sorry. <laughs> when your phone is not being used, Siri basically um announces what the notification is or what the message you received is um allowed, and that's only if you you click on the announce notification. You allow the announce notifications um feature. So how to manage notifications on Android. 
the first one we went over was for the iPhone. And now this next one is for Android, basically Samsung and any type of um, Android device. Steps to manage notifications. Kind of similar to the iPhone, you open settings, tap on notifications, tap the application notifications. This is it right here. Find the app you want to manage notifications for. Turn the app's notification on or off. And next, you select specific categories of notifications to allow. And just a side note, you cannot, you know, um, edit your notification settings if you don't have, for a particular app, you don't have downloaded on your phone. So make sure you have that application downloaded on your phone before um, attempting to do the notification settings. Steps to customize notifications. To customize the notification sound, first you open the settings, two, tap sound and vibration, something like this. Three, you tap default notification sound. And next you select a new sound from the list. And lastly, you tap save to apply the changes you just executed. Steps to turn on or off notifications and prioritize. Open settings, tap on notifications, tap the application notifications, tap an application, turn the application's notifications on or off, set the application's notifications to be priority notifications. So some people like have um, a particular app or a group of apps that they receive messages or notifications from very often, probably every day or three times a day or more. And this is the steps you take to prioritize those applications so you're not missing any information that comes in your phone from those applications. How to silence notifications for iPhone and Android. So do not disturb mode or silence notifications. So I'm sure a, a couple of us have heard about the do not disturb and the silence notification, especially if you are going to sleep or you are busy, you have something going on. So this is the feature you use for that. For iPhone, what you do is open the settings, tap notifications, select the app you want to silence, toggle off, allow notifications or sound. So basically just slide it to the back. Um, so you can also silence notifications from specific people using the focus mode. So for Android to use the silence notifications or do not disturb, you open your settings, tap notifications, tap application notifications, select the app you want to silence, turn off the applications notifications. You can also use do not disturb mode to silence all notifications for a period of time. So as you can see for the iPhone, you use the focus mode for a period of time. And then for Android, you use the do not disturb mode. Same thing, just different um, titles or names. Okay, yeah, we'll keep the video for the end. Um, so, no. So these are some resources. I'll be sharing this in the chats um, to um, show you the steps on how to manage your notifications, both on Androids and iPhones. I'll be sharing it in the chat. Like I said, I'll be sharing the link, the links in the chat. And thanks for listening. If you would like to learn this lesson with Cyber Seniors Mentor, please go to www.cyberseniors.org or call 
53057 to register for a one on one phone session. We also host weekly tech drop dropping sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursdays. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.